If you're starting New World and you're thinking about playing with friends and you're low level, you need to watch this video. This video is for the release of New World and it's going to cover how to start in the same area as your friends. It's very important in this game, unlike other MMOs where it's very easy to do with New World, there is no button that allows you to just magically start where everybody else is. I don't know why they made it that way, but this guide is going to help you with this. Now, one thing you have to consider before you do anything, since there are two ways to do this, is number one, sort by the amount of players in queue and get an idea what server you're going to. For example, this server, El Dorado, is very, very crowded. And the queue length, look at that, it's almost 20,000 people. If you are seeing something like this and you get on this server, it's going to be a long wait to get on. And once you get on there, you're going to have to use the standard method of starting in the area. And I'll go over what standard method number one is. Method number two is if you're on a low queue server or any of these things that are tolerable, 40, 50 players, it's not too long. But with this one, you can use a quicker method that will also work. Both methods can be used on any server. It just depends on if there is a queue. So go ahead. Let's take this right here. You're going to select this. And then at this point, it's going to be a long wait until you get to the queue. What you're going to see is a black screen shortly. Once we select this, just pick whatever. I'm going to take just whatever here, just for demonstration. So first of all, what you have to do with your friends is you have to find out what zone, starting area, they're going to be in which town. Some towns have some clear advantages over other towns, in my opinion. I like Windsward because it is in the middle. And it's close to other new areas. Uh, other people will like uh, Everfall because it's closer to the higher level areas. It all depends on you, but you will have to decide that. Now this black screen you're seeing right now is merely you waiting in the queue. Look at this. 11 players in the queue. This is not bad at all. It's going to tick down pretty quick. But when you have 20,000 people in here, you could be here for a long time. It could be a few hours. And keep in mind, if you disconnect or anything like that happens you crash or whatever you're gonna to have to get back in that queue if you make a new character you're gonna to have to get back in that queue so that's a problem with being on a popular server we're gonna be going in next and now you're gonna end up on the beach here what you want to do the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit escape like this game menu and skip to new world and say yes so now we're over here in Everfall and as you can see it's the start right here and we want to go to Windward, Windward. So what we do is go to this first guy and I'm going to show you how to get the quest. And once again, this method is for if you are on a very populated server and you don't want to sit in the queue each time you recreate your character and you do this, 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 complete this quest. Do not talk to this guy anymore. Just hit leave like that. And what you'll notice on the map is see these other start areas have lit up like that if you want to start in Windsward, you're going to need to go all the way down here if you want to start in monarch's bluff it's over here some runs are longer than others but i'm going to go ahead and run it down here and show you guys and skip ahead to that point okay so i'll show you how to get up there so once again when you go up there you can pop the map and i would suggest that you zoom in a little bit like this you stay on the road don't deviate from the road if you're there you'll have other people it'll be okay and um, you won't have to worry about too much so just stay on the road so we've reached our first town which is everfall you can see we went here you can see that was about five minutes run to here and now we're going to go on a next leg of our trip we're going to take a right turn you can zoom in on the map when you get to the middle of town take a right so now I've made it to my town in Windsward. I still have to do this quest down here called Among the Drowned, but this is a destination that's closest to my next quest to trigger this to be my start town. So what you want to do is go in and set up the inn, but um, first go in right here and talk to this guy. He'll say guest registration. He'll say check in the town. So make sure you do that. Now your respawn is in the town. This is very, very important just in case you slip on a banana peel or something like that. So the amount of time it has taken has been about 15 minutes, our whole journey. So our whole journey started all the way over here and ever fall up there. 
and we went through Everfall itself in here so it's about 15 minutes not bad at all we still have to run down to the beach to complete the quest and along the way we got these things like the experience gain and um, other things like this you still get some experience gain like that so those are all nice to haves along the way and once again next step is I'm going to go here and show you what the next step is so everybody now we have made it to the starting area and this is it right here you'll take a look and you can see we made it from this town all the way in Windward. It is known as Greenhaven and we have finally made it all the way here. So our trip has concluded. It's gone all the way out here from Everfall all the way to here. The total trip time is roughly around, I would say, 15, 20 minutes depending on your skills and uh, if you don't get killed. Anyway, so we are here now. It, we made level three without killing anything, almost level four. And this is the guy you would talk to. This is the guy on the beach once again, like this. And so he will give you this quest called Among the Drowned. This is the one you want to pick up for him. And basically it's just uh, kill three of these uh, guys around here. And these you guys you can easily handle. You follow the radar on your map. And now you're in the same starting area as your friends. If you are on a server with uh, a no queue, or a very small queue then instead you just start over recreate your character and so on take this guy's quest you get his nice pants and take more quests and then you get these pants <clears throat> and you're all set right there so that's how this whole thing goes let's take a look at our map let's take a look at our journal right here and you just keep doing these quests over and over and everybody should hang around here and then progress them at the same speed so let's do the other way let's go ahead and say we don't like this let's create a new character so go ahead and go like that exit to main menu and you can see how quick this is so let's go ahead and delete this character and we're going to go on the same server like this yeah you can hit escape now and then once again skip to new world you can create your character over and over until you end up where you want so two ways you can do it you can skip through the tutorial and recreate the character until you land on the correct beach or the other way you can do it is you can pick up the first quest but and you select the boots and run it over there you may have to do one of them if you're on a high population server a low population server like me it's okay you can just do like i did i'm doing here as you can see this has been a very good launch later on things will get better here we go 